Hey everybody, welcome back to another December edition of the Daily Wolfman. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Feeling more merrier for this Christmas season? Hey, I just want to apologize to everybody for my last video. I didn't mean to complain, but I'm just trying to find myself all over again and dumb flies are bothering me <laughs> but I'm just trying to find myself and figure out a lot of things a career path and everything um, I love security don't get me wrong like I've said before I love security but it's just that <sighs> it's time for a bigger career opportunity um, yesterday I got interviewed for a different security company to where I could work, uh, USC, the University of Southern California. Um, but I just want to apologize to you all that in my last video that I was complaining a lot, but I'm just trying to be honest and give my honest opinion about things. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, hmm, what should I vlog about today? So, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscription button smash on that thumbs up button for me and smash the heck out of it because smash it is very good leave me some comments down below a lot of you have not been doing that but it's okay um but i like to hear from you guys what do you want to see what you want to hear on my vlogs because that will really help me out. As we come into the year 2021, I like some new ideas on uh, what type of videos you guys would like to see. Um, if I do get over at USC, I'll try to vlog, but I have to do it on the extreme download. So I'll say it again like a body cam. That way I can have it attached to me. And not only is it for my safety, but I could do my videos that way. Um, but, but yeah, many of you probably want to see me in action at work. But where I'm at right now, I can't do that because it's very strict. There's cameras all over the place at the truck and yard. But um, I already put in my notice to my manager that I'm going to be switching companies. So I gave them a 30-day notice. It's just not promising to me. Like I said Previously, I have emphysema, and I can't be around the exhaust of the semi-trucks, especially the diesels. I don't mind, my respiratory and I don't mind about the clean burning trucks. It's just the diesel trucks that come in that are not burning clean um, that really irritates my respiratory um, many of you that have emphysema, COPD, 
other respiratory uh, respiratory problems can understand and relate to that. It's not an easy task. I wish I had a respirator that truly filters everything out, but I have to wear my face mask, the company face mask, and but it is what it is. If you guys are looking for uh, a really good face mask, I advise you to get the uh, the cloth ones, but make sure that it's big enough that it doesn't constrict your ears, because that is painful. I have a couple masks that I cannot wear because it's it constricts my ears. So, I advise any cloth ones that have a filter with it built into it, or you can take it out, put a new one in. But um, those double vent ones and single vent ones, they look cool and all, but they don't really get the job done. But I have that too. I have... Uh, double vent mask but I have to cut the neck part because my neck is thin and it's just like really really scratchy on the back of my neck and I had to add extra velcro to it I just quickly stitched it on it's not professionally done but it will pull off within time but just make sure that the masks are very comfortable like my work mask I wear that a lot I have it actually with me right now um, it's this one that one is extremely comfortable it's loose around my nose and my mouth um, it's comfortable around the ears but when I'm wearing my eyeglasses, especially at night when it cools down, I have to take those eyeglasses off because it really fogs up. So that's why I try to work on my other mask, my Vinton mask, so that I can wear that one instead. Because with that one, I can actually wear my eyeglasses and it won't fog up. So... And also I have a, a Mickey mask that is also for the Dodgers. Um, that one I believe has a built-in filter because it's thick. It's the thick cloth. But I'm not too sure. But um, that one I can't wear to work. Darn. But it is what it is. But um, if your security out here in LA County uh, and you really love your company, they're very lenient with you. If you had a problem at your post or you didn't like it, leave me a comment down below with your company name and phone number and a, a contact person's name and um, I'll look into that. But I really like my interviewer yesterday, Lewis, from SecureNet Protection. Um, he's really cool, down to earth, and that's what I'm looking for. That tells me that the uh, interviewer slash supervisors, if they turn into your supervisor or your manager, they're not there for the money. They're there for the experience, and they're also there for their people. Um, that's what I like. With Allied, I'm not trying to diss Allied, but with Allied, I try to get change from the truck yard to something else, and I had to wait and wait and wait. 
for them to find me a replacement and find me a different post. And I was very honest with my manager. I was very honest with her. I was like, look, I have emphysema. I can't be with these truck fumes. I was just wondering if a vehicle patrol position has opened because that's what I originally applied and interviewed for. I understand that the truck yard was um, at high need for more security officers. I understand that. But then she told me I have to wait at least three months. And it's getting, like I said in the beginning, it's getting really hard for me to breathe because I get home from work and I feel like I'm coming down with the worst sickness in my life because of all those fumes that I've been breathing in. And I have a face uh, a face shield and that doesn't even help. It just goes right underneath and yeah, I get more of that because we're supposed to wear those when it gets really windy and well, it was really windy where I was at last night and um, but yeah, it is what it is but Anyways, guys, on with this vlog. Um, I wish I could smoke a cigarette on my vlog, but I can't because I got canned by YouTube. Especially when I was doing a live feed. I think that's why I can't do live feeds anymore. I think they banned me from a live feed. I can even live stream on this phone. I can even live stream on my laptop. And it's all set up for live streaming. Because I miss doing my live vlogs. Go live with the Daily Wolfman. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, it is what it is. It's rules and regulations and policy and procedure. And you have to follow all that. Just like you have to follow the law. Well, you don't have to follow the law, but it's best to, right, guys? Mm-hmm. I'm tired of breaking the law. But it's been 14 years, almost 15 years. Shoot. Next month will be 15 years since I've been out of jail. Since I haven't gotten arrested and placed in jail. Yeah, folks, 14 years, 14 and a half years ago, I was incarcerated in the county jail of Santa Barbara. That is never going to be said uh, what the charge was. Sheriff helicopter flying over. I don't know if you guys can see him. But, um, anyways, guys, oh, and for you new subscribers, don't forget to click on the bell icon for the notifications and click on that little box that comes up with a pop-up so that you never, ever miss a new video of mine. Because if you do miss a new video of mine, I'll make sure that Santa Claus puts lumps of coal into your stocking and all your gifts will be nothing but lumps of coal for the rest of your life. Chunka conka conka conka. Come on guys, I miss being this character. Governor Newsom of California shut us down after we built four scare houses at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> Same with the state of California. So I'm missing it. Orlando had theirs. Why couldn't we have ours just like they had theirs? Like during the day. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm looking forward to next year. Hopefully this new company will approve of me becoming this character and still come back after the season is done of Halloween Horror Nights 31 
and it's been brought to my attention that I should talk to Mr. John Murdy, the mastermind and creator of Halloween Horror Nights, Orlando Hollywood, I, Orlando Hollywood, Universal Hollywood. Um, to see if we can also include HHN 30 that was supposed to have been this year and just have it for like two extra months before HHN 31 happens in September so um but yeah, like I said, hopefully this new security company will approve of me going through the audition. And then if I get approved, um, I could try to squeeze all my scheduling for us characters into my actual regular work schedule. And then once all that is completed, if I don't have additional training to do for Halloween Horror Nights, I can continue being security. Um, still trying to get with Securitas for the Burbank, California division for entertainment because they're the ones that are in charge of um, setting security officers over to Universal Studios Hollywood to interview with the client. I guess it's the big CEO of the company, um, which I think he sits in the NBC Universal office. That's adjacent to, adjacent but still on the property of Universal Studios. Um, if you've been there, when you go straight up the hill, it's right off to your left. Just before you go up the hill. It's before the light that the, the studio tram, the studio tour tram uh, turns at the bottom of the hill it's right there on the left it's that big old skyscraper that says NBC Universal that's the HR department so I think the one of the CEOs sits up in there but um haven't met him yet but I heard that he's a really nice guy um anyways guys yeah um but, like I was saying, if I do get with Securitas in the near future, and I start working just a regular post, I want to have at least a year, year and a half underneath my belt so that I can successfully transfer over to the, the Burbank division for the entertainment department so that I can start working at Universal Studios as a security officer um that gets to be a high demand post most of the time especially for Halloween Horror Nights and Grinchmas um I missed my last this year I missed my no last year sorry I missed my window to audition for Grinchmas I guess I checked my email a little bit too late. But there's always next year, guys. We're not having it this year because of the pandemic. Hopefully the pandemic lifts. I got an emergency alert about the pandemic this morning on my phone. And I was just like, oh, great. Here we go again. I've heard that DCA... Disney California Venture has shut down once again. Same with Downtown Disney has shut down once again due, due to this new outbreak of COVID here in LA County. But obviously Knott's Berry Farm is still open for dining and shopping. You can actually go inside the park this time. Instead, like the little boardwalk. Um, but now you can go inside and eat and shop. From what I've been hearing, it's still open, but I'm not too sure. 
so leave me a comment down below to let me know if it is still open um medieval times dinner and a tournament is not open still they're doing a lot of training and trying to figure out everything because it's a small place um they're trying to figure out how they can safely do everything by the percentage of the capacity may be at like 5%. It could be at 10%. Because to have a 25% capacity for a small arena, it's still going to be pretty tight to have it at 20-25% capacity. So I could see about 5 to 10% capacity. Yeah, that's going to upset a lot of people. But it's rules, regulation, policy, procedure due to the governor, the state of California, for the health department of the state of California. But, um, but yeah, guys, wish me luck on this new job opportunity. I'm looking forward to it. I know what the security officers look like over at USC. I know the uniforms that they wear because I met them before because I was trying to find this commuter rental car that's called Zipcar. You guys heard me talking about that for a little while since last year. Um, but I was trying to find it. I did not know that Lyft drop, dropped me off right at the parking lot where I was supposed to pick up the car. Until I looked at the parking lot after we got help, because she was told the security officer she she did her best. Not everybody knows about Zipcar and get away and um or get around and uh, other commuter companies, com uh, ride share companies actually, um to where you can rent a car and. But not a whole lot of people know about that. Because she looked at me like, what's a zip car? <laughs> and I was like, it's a ride share rental car company. I can't really explain it. Well, is there anybody? Did you contact anybody here that um, owns the vehicle? I was like, uh, the company owns the vehicles? And they just have a contract with the locations to put up their zip car signs for reserve parking for zip cars only so if you park your regular vehicle in that parking spot it will be towed <laughs> so don't do it people I had a complaint to make a well not fully complain but I made a complaint to zip car for one location that there was a non zip car parked in that spot and I was like okay so I had to take a picture where I had to park the vehicle so that other people will know where I parked the vehicle but um it's expensive it's more expensive than rent it from enterprise and hurts but with Zipcar hopefully if you're lucky if you do sign up for Zipcar you get a gas card just check the visor because there's a, a little sleeve for a parking permit card if the vehicle needs a parking permit it'll have a card right there and then next to it is a gas card if it's not in that sleeve check all over the vehicle on the inside check the trunk check every nook and cranny of the vehicle because you never know somebody could have dropped it in between the seats or it could have went underneath the floor mats so but if it's not then you let Zipcar know by calling them and let them know that hey there's no gas card in there in the vehicle that I'm renting right now but they'll let you know to save the gas receipts and they will reimburse you 
after your trip is done. You want to do it right after your trip is done, as soon as you get home or right when you wake up the next day. Um, it takes about three to seven business days for that refund to come back to you, but it will come back to you. Um, if there's any damage on the vehicle, take a picture of it. Um, and report it to Zipcar, and they'll have you email the uh, pictures that you took. It's best to do video. I advise you guys to do video so that they can see that the that the images are not altered. Um, and you always do that. You always check your vehicle for as long as you have it. Keep checking your vehicle because you never know if somebody push a shopping cart into your vehicle. Um, you could be charged for excessive damage that hasn't been reported. Um, if somebody keys your car, same thing. Uh, pierces your tire, same thing. Um, now, if you have a flat that occurs on your trip, you call Zipcar, and they do have a roadside assistance program that will come out and change your tire. Um, and if the battery is bad, they can put a new battery into it. But be careful because a couple vehicles I rented from Zipcar were not up to date on the maintenance. So I had to make a report about that. Haven't heard anything from Zipcar yet. But the handling was really rough. Like this one, this last Zipcar that I rented, it was a VW Golf. Um, the, the front suspension was bad very bad I mean you can hear it crinkling and rattling and it was just rough to drive that car so I had to be very cautious it's a good thing I didn't go visit my daughter and her family back in Lompoc California in Santa Barbara County with that vehicle cuz if my ex-wife drove that vehicle yeah she'll be yelling at me <laughs> but <laughs> it was a fun little car to drive though because I rented a VW Golf before by LAX and that sucker was fun took it to Lancaster through the National Forest and boy was that car fun <laughs> but anyways guys not to ramble on be safe out there for Christmas um, keep practicing your, uh, physical distancing of six feet, uh, wear your mask fully. Um, if you guys want, I'll demonstrate how you're supposed to wear your mask since I have mine right here. This is going to be, uh, face mask 101. I am your professor, Professor Papa Wolf. So this is how you properly put your mask on. Make sure that it's hooked. If you're one-handed, make sure it's hooked. Oh yeah. Okay, that's not working. And now folks, after you readjust and everything, See how wide this mask is? It's not like my others. But you make sure that the the ear straps are not curled because that tends to get uncomfortable after a while, especially if you have to wear it for eight to nine hours a day for your job. So, yeah, like, see, I'm 
readjusting this one because it was twisted. Twisted Sisters. No. I love that group, by the way, guys. I love Twisted Sisters. But I like this mask because it covers my nose just right. Sometimes when I'm talking, I have to keep pulling it from my face to readjust it because it will fall down. It'll slip beyond my nose a little bit. But it goes underneath my chin a little bit. It's like where I usually will trim a beard at that line right there. But that's how you properly wear a mask at all times, even at an amusement park. So gas stations, grocery stores. Um, encourage your kids to, to wear a face mask. Stores are now, are now carrying a lot of children's size face masks. Um, but, and make sure that you wash your masks after every use. Even if you have to go out multiple times a day, like back and forth from your house to the store or whatever, wear, wash your mask. It's important. I usually spray my mask heavily and then uh, let it dry. Just do a quick one at work. So, um, anyways, guys, I love you all. Merry Christmas. Be safe out there. Please leave me some comments down below on what you like to see in the near future. So, um, yeah, I'm still thinking about trucking, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, but we'll see about that. But I'll talk to you guys later on the flip side. Be safe. And like I said, please encourage your kids to wear a face mask. It'll help. You don't want to get them with the coronavirus because that's kids with the coronavirus, kids, elders, um, and people with respiratory problems and other health problems is very dangerous. So just protect your kids. Make sure that they put sanitizer on. If you have alcohol wipes with you, whatever they touch, have them wash their hands and then put the alcohol wipe on and a drop of hand sanitizer um, on their hands and just make sure that they don't rub their eyes. Um, but anyways, guys, I love you all. God bless. Be safe out there. Merry Christmas. And just remember, let's put Christ back into Christmas. I love you all. God bless.